most significant thing to me that happened over the weekend, mm. right? and which was new, was not so much the endorsement of uh, Raila Odinga mm -hmm. by the president, because he'd made that clear long time ago. There were signs. The signs were there for yeah. everyone who cared to see. <coughs> the most significant thing was the fact that Uhuru Kenyatta made it clear that I'm going nowhere. I'm still here. Yes. And I want to play a significant role in the politics of the land. Mm -hmm. And, of course, how does he do this? He starts by rejuvenating his uh, political party, mm -hmm. uh, more or less having the signs of the uh, original uh, TNA. Yes. And, of course, for those who care to remember, you can recall how the TNA was crafted out of nothing mm. into what ultimately became, you know, the Jubilee Party. Coalition and yes. eventually landed them the, uh, the presidency. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so that I want to honestly believe that given the, you know, the president uh, that I know, the, mm. political, uh, the, the, the political cunning president that I know, the person <laughs> who is a prolific... <laughs> Mm. campaigner, the true Uhuru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. I would really want to see to what extent would he reverse the gains mm. that the UDA has made for the last, is it five years, four <laughs> years when the president was busy doing what Kenya yeah. elected him yeah. to do. Yeah, and, and that's why we, we, I mean, other panelists have said that the person that has to worry most now is the deputy president. Mm. Why? Because his core base has been taken to be the Mount Kenya vote. Mm -hmm. For record purposes, minus the Mount Kenya vote, the deputy, deputy president's Sashia. presidential ambition is absolutely derailed. But as it is right now, mm -hmm. uh, all signs that... Are they going, will they split it to what percentage? 30, 70, 50, 50, 60, 40? I think 40? now th th that will depend on, uh, you know, to what extent will the president move to the ground? Yes. Because uh, some of us have always felt that, you know, for, I mean, for the Azimio dream, insofar as the presidency is concerned, mm -hmm. to be sure about then the president had to come in forcefully, yes. particularly in the Mount Kenya region, you know, to shelve that uh, presidential uh, office-like, you know, court and, you know, mm. come back to the politician that he is or that he was. And mm. I want to believe uh, okay. that's the person that we saw on Saturday. Okay. So that now it remains to be seen to what extent he mm. will then influence the Mount Kenya All right. block.